Okay, here we go. High Elves, game number 11 versus Humans. Humans are very tricky, and you could have a very good team, especially versus Elves. 12-2-2, great record. Yep, mighty blow tackle, mighty blow guard, mighty blow guard. Terrible thrower, but yeah, this is not what you want to see as, as High Elves. This could definitely be a loss here. Uh, sad. Sad. Can't, f can't full scum a wizard. I mean, okay, I've got three guard as well, but... <laughs> he's got four guard, and he's got the mighty blow on the tackle. This is uh, it's going to be bad. Yeah, yeah. I think it was if they Kaz, wasn't it? I think it was if they, if they like, KO'd or... So if they removed a skeleton, it's when they would run off with a bone and bury it. Maybe it was only if they cast them. And they couldn't reach and skeletons couldn't reach. <laughs> skeletons couldn't reach and against <laughs> against wolves, because they ran off with a thing. But like wolves had mighty blow one and toughness one. And like toughness was like you know minus mighty blow for the uh you know, for the injury. So if you had if you had toughness four, it would take an eight. You would have to roll an eight to kill you. Uh, sorry, if you rolled a twelve, it would turn into an eight. So you'd only get KO'd. But if you had mighty blow four, then you'd roll an eight and kill somebody, <laughs> which was pretty good. Okay, here we go. That's actually not true, is it? It was four on the armor and two on the injury. So actually, I was totally lied there. Totally lied. It was Mighty Blow was half of it went on the injury. So Mighty Blow 1 was just the same as Mighty Blow. Well, not it was both. It wasn't either. It was both. So Mighty Blow 1 was 1 on the armour, then 1 on the injury. And Mighty Blow 2 was 2, then 1. And Mighty Blow 3 was 3, then 2. That's right. But Toughness was just like subtracted it from the roll, so it was pretty good. And they got Mighty Blow and Toughness. Unlike the linemen. <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty insane. Right, I guess kick. I think I'm just going rule of five in the future now. With so many good linemen. got a tackler so I don't really want to let him mighty blow tackle my dodge tackle do I but then I also don't want to hit my uh, guard maybe I just go like that oh yeah of course I've got two Alright. Surprise you didn't scum a wizard. If you're gonna scum a bribe, you might as well scum a wizard, right? And you do it properly. <laughs> I would have scummed a wizard if I was here. Like if I was down seventy T V I would in like, you know, twelve you know, twelve two two and versus nine zero one, I would have absolutely scummed a wizard. But, you know. Hello pranks the Vange. Oh my god. But yeah, Blue Ball Second Ed was wild. They had like, they had ninja assassins that could just kill somebody before the game started. And then they had spies and so and then your spies could counteract your opponents in like dirty tricks. Well not inducements to do dirty tricks. And uh and so then you had to get loads of spies to counteract all the dirty tricks, and then your spies could counteract their spies. And then uh, and you had spells, and one of the spells was just kill a guy and stuff. <laughs> Don't roll anything, just fucking kill the guy. Storm not doing a dacker against Chunter, very sad. Tripwires in the end zones, that, I've, that's not been anything I've known. 
There's pit. There's like pit traps were a thing, but that was in Dungeon Bowl. I don't think pit traps were in. Yeah, pit traps were in Dungeon Bowl. Second Dead Dungeon Bowl had pit traps, but I don't think they had them in just normal Blood Bowl. Uh, I haven't seen it, no caution. Um, I'll do a replay though after Monday Night Claw tonight, so there you go. Well, hey. Great first turn, no armor breaks. Love to see it. He's defended the ball pretty well, actually. It's annoying, isn't it? It's pretty annoying. Could, uh... Yeah, he's not ready, though, because my tackle's over, so... Put guard in there and two D the ogre, but is it even worth it? Not really. Jimmy Fantastic shit at this game. Holy shit, it's not Dimmy. <laughs> Hello, Arkham. <laughs> hmm. feel quite bad that it wasn't Dimmy, but you know. Hello. Just leave these down. Oh, he's got the dirty player though, so maybe not. I wouldn't have minded leaving them down, but seeing as he's got the bribe and the DP, I guess uh, run away. <laughs> yes, Volkaz, yeah, that'd be pretty good. Yeah, I just if you know if if I'd had the tackle central, I could have I could have hit him, which would have been. Nice to maybe bang him out, wouldn't it? But it was hard to get pressure on. Surprisingly, the 12-2-2 guy played all right. <laughs> very, very an annoying. Very unsociable of him, wasn't it? Yeah, he's going to hit the guard. And he doesn't mind leaving the ogre in contact. But now maybe can uh, can hit the ogre here. Oh. AV8 is just better than AV7, yep. That's true. Could blitz him and then put the guard there to chain away the extra hit. Or could put in the guard there and then hit there and dodge. Yeah, okay, hit there and dodge after is okay, isn't it?
Oh, I could follow and then get behind enemy lines. That's exciting, isn't it? Four, look at that. Four. <laughs> now, of course, that might just lead to a tackle mighty hit and a massive gang foul, but still, he's just a shit headliner, isn't he? And he's hitting a wrestler, which is alright. And it is a two into a two into a two. Yeah. But this might expose the ball a bit here. Oh wow, he chose the, chose the both down. Oh, he is going to foul then. Well, this might expose the ball a bit here. He can go in for the ball hard next turn, maybe. Because his tackle is down. And he'll be taking himself out of position to gang foul. Because that's the only reason to take them both down, right? So there might be ball smacking opportunity. Let's hunt the ball sack next turn. <laughs> Rowdy ball sack. Just a line off, this is fine. Double four? No. Getting that guy back there didn't do anything, and he hasn't really left the ball on, has he? At all. It's not even really open to pressure. How annoying. Well, that did not pay off. Boring waste of time that was. Jim Shard. I, I thought it was maybe a bad idea when I did it, but still. Humans are good, aren't they? Because they're fast as well. We did that pretty well. Annoying when people know how to play Blood Bowl. It's not fair, is it? It's not fair when people know how to play Blood Bowl. Why won't you let me win? Let me win! Yeah, Volk, I was reading about the fat wank thing. Um, oh, God. Yes, bad spot cast. First of all, don't give a shit about the other people in the league. Because if you quit, not one of them will, will think in the years to come, oh, I'm really glad 
that the bad spot cast was hating this tournament but still stuck it out. They will instantly forget you. So, you know, don't feel like you should, you should, you should play it out just to keep everyone happy. Fuck them. That's number one. Second of all, if you don't say fuck them, um, I mean, I don't know, give them 250. It depends how good your team is. You just got to play like more high risk, high reward, right? You just got to play more high risk, high reward. That's all it is. So like, roll the dice a bit. And then depending, well, it depends what the league is. Depends, depends on a lot of things about the league as well. Like if you even care about winning in the league and stuff. There's lots to it. Like if it's Rebel, then winning doesn't matter at all. So you don't even need to care about that. Do I uphill here? And then if I pow him, there's a two throughs with him and then a three through with someone to hit him. Red dice the big guys, yeah, I'm thinking about it. I can just hit and then see what happens. Get completely fucked. Oh well. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But like that was pretty good, pushing him there, and then that's a two th twos there, and then he three twos through, one two three, four five six seven GFI GFI, and then he he threes through, and then passes to the other one or something. There was like things that could have happened there, and like because I'm getting banged out, not that banged out, only two players down, but. It's not filling me with confidence the way this drive is going. Maybe I could have just played it safer and tried to wall off, because now he's getting some decent penetration, isn't he? Siggy Dells versus Tri Wells, Muppet Pro versus Flicky Kenry, Sick Undead versus Chugs Underworld, Martin Septon Wood versus Nyx Dorfs, Volk for God Dorfs versus Dio Zons. So they got one bad matchup in Dorfs versus Woodies. And everything else is favoured, favouring Fap. Is that right? still take that's I mean I don't know how good my Inceptum is but I'd still take Nick on Dwarves versus Woodies and of course he gets exposed so gets instantly cast I guess I just give up on this match now that was like that was the bad thing that he was getting blitzed let's get, just give up on the match GG not giving my best efforts banned for the season. Um, I should be, shouldn't I? I should be banned for the season there. As, uh, I did not give my best efforts. Maybe I shouldn't have done that.
Maybe I should just boiled off. I quite like that hole. Especially like on a knockdown, it was really good. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for it. I just don't like walling off and trading blitzes because he's got plenty of blow. He can always like, like he's fast as well, so it's not likely to work really walling him off. But I guess the fact that he, he's given up that turn to foul and like he hadn't got far in, maybe I should have carried on just walling off. But, I don't know. See, this, this colours my uh, my perceptions a bit as well you know because you see you see chunter and he does his uphill blocks and they like never ever ever fail and mine always fucking fail so yeah it's very squeaky j5 i've had it for a while but obviously haven't had face come on while i've had it for a while but it's very squeaky yeah, he just never rolls a fucking skull, right? Whereas, like, every time I fucking uphill, I roll a skull. Like, every fucking time, it's ridiculous. And that was about 1 in 9, wasn't it, that fail? In fact, less than a 1 in 9, wasn't it? 30% instead of 33. Yeah, I'm not J5, but, you know, that's what everyone says last time, but... I haven't done it yet. And I'd just rather, like, I don't think about it, and then, like, and then I start streaming, and it squeaks, and I'm like, oh, yeah, the chair squeaks. I don't really think about it when I'm not streaming. All right, well, good, we're walling off again now. We're back to walling off, because he just gave up his little bit of penetration that he got, but he's three players up now, so it should be pretty easy for him. It should be pretty easy for him. Oh, I didn't see this one. I thought he was mine. Oh, fuck. I thought he was mine. Yeah, I should, shouldn't I? Well, that's made things a bit more complicated. Because now these two are just fucking basing for no reason like idiots. Yeah, that's what he gets for impersonating a high elf, exactly. <laughs> I think that human catcher plays for the humans. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Hammers. I just literally thought it was one of mine. Because, like, they randomly face the other way, don't they? Look, he's facing that way and he's facing this way. So because because these were, like, facing that way and he was facing that way, I just thought it was on my team. <laughs> oh, dear. He's probably going to get down the side enough, isn't he? Oh, shit. Shitbag humans. And the edge five is off the pitch, so I can't, haven't got a reliable dive at all. Another gun, another one gone. <laughs> Seven players. It's fucking, they're so annoying humans, aren't they? Like, for elves, they're, they're obviously if you're a bash team you just laugh at them. And they're like, why do they even exist? They've got strength three, they're pathetic. But as elves, they're so fast and they out mighty blow you and out guard you. They're pretty annoying. Of course, they don't win that much because at the end of the day, elves are still elves. <laughs> so it's not like they lose every time or anything, but... 
Yeah, humans are annoying in real life as well. Like this might still be a stop, mightn't it? Four players down. It's got three scoring threats, four scoring threats. But now it's got four. Yeah, maybe it would. <laughs> Spaces, blood ball. It's annoying that this is actually a pretty decent shout to reverse. I guess I can put a guard into tag and then that will lag. Uh, the thing is, I've got. Well, this guy can't really do anything over here. Twelve, eleven, ten, It's too easy for him to score on this guy, isn't it? But it's also going to be too easy to score the other way as well. So shit, maybe I should have blitzed him and then just stood further back with these. He's obviously just going for this. It's too easy, isn't it? But I couldn't make it hard. Not without making this super easy. So maybe I, should, maybe I had to blitz him. Could fail the one in nine, I guess. No, he could one in thirty six. Nope, halfway there. He could one in six. No. Why couldn't that be in the catch roll? Yeah, maybe I had to blitz him. I don't know. Like, I knew that was it was so I knew that's what he was going to do, right? Like, it was obvious, wasn't it? But. What could I do about it? Not a lot. It, it was so easy to go the other way as well. Very annoying. Both KOs fail, of course. There's the double one. There's the double one that he needed for his GFI. It's all right. Needing to roll dice to score on turn eight or with four players up isn't isn't great, is it? Don't 
don't even know if I've got enough players to one turn. Well, I guess I could uh, use the hole, couldn't I? What an absolute fuck up. What an absolute fuck up. I just couldn't think there in that turn. Oh, that's alright, isn't it? So he punches, then he hands off, and then he punches, and then he punches, yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Motherfucker! I just obviously failed the first fucking thing. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I knew it was going to be a snake. I just knew it was going to be. Fucking quick snap as well. Fucking blood ball, man. Fucking blood ball. Tell you what, I tell you what, Tom, that proves the DACA doesn't work, doesn't it? No, no other caution. Some other people were. And they were making what I would say were not the best arguments in the world against it. Like, I think it's fine to discuss it rationally, but not just like... I hate it, I'm never going to use it. <laughs> and it never works against good coaches. It's like just stupid, isn't it? Yeah, maybe J5, maybe. That did expose the guard at a getting hit and who then got cast. And to be fair, I gave up on winning the match then.
Hallo. I mean, it's the most. I think it's like ticky tacker. <laughs> That's why it's the tacker. Perfect. <laughs> it's 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 a technical masterclass. The tacker. <laughs> it's the best thing to look at. It's the actual best thing to look at. Holy shit! I love it. I love it. doing no I shouldn't have done him I'll do him first no oh, this is really bad though that I can't I can't do him first oh, I probably shouldn't move all these guys first should I You trip a lot, very good. Daka Daka, here I go again. Stupid fucking game. It's a stupid fucking children's game that we all love to play. Yeah, the has just make it, just put it over the edge, don't they? They're so good. The ha. Ha! The thing about Chunter is, when, whenever he criticises the deck, he reacts as if a normal drive would just work with 100% efficiency. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> And it's like, dude, if I could just take, if I was 1-0 up and I could take just scoring in two turns without any dice being rolled, then yes, I'd take it because then I'm 2-0 up. If I was guaranteed to score in two turns, 100%, take a two-turn touchdown and just move the, move the turn count as no rolls are made, then yeah, I'd do that. But that's not how it is, is it? Just because you try for a two-turn doesn't mean it'll work. I'm not going to do millions of passes here because losing. I just wanted him on one so that he's uh, he's MVP ready. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Hancock. Oh, well, now I'll try for it if he's not going to move. If you're not going to move, I'll fucking pass then, all right. <laughs> yes, I've been passing, Vanley. <laughs> Keeping my L safe, mainly. <laughs> Daka. I will never two turn. Uh, do I go forward this turn? I could do. Turn 12. Go up. 
13, 14, 15. I mean, maybe maybe it's one more turn. If I do another pass here, I'm on three, right? Which is... <laughs> That's a little bit tempting. Let's do it. Glorious. Daka Daka. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just keep passing. <laughs> just keep passing. <laughs> now it comes to him like, why is he happy with this? Am I doing, have I left something wrong here? Why is he not doing anything? <laughs> Little does he know I only want the SPP. <laughs> go. Beautiful. Classic out bashing by Els. Love to see it. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. No, exactly. And I will right. defend. Yeah, that, that's the I thing. Like, defend. it's so much better when you're when you're ahead. Daka Daka. Like, this isn't the best time to Daka, you know? But, like, at least I'm reasonable. At least I'm not saying it's fucking stupid to Daka every time. Like, this is obvi it's obviously a bit... Like, it's obviously better when you're ahead. Thank you very much, Qua189. For staying fantastic. Oh, yeah. Like, obviously it's better when you're ahead, because then they have to pursue you, don't they? Like, that's the thing. If you're ahead, they have to pursue. Or even if you're drawing, right? They've pretty much got to pursue, because otherwise they're going to lose. So, like, it's arguable if it's, if it's a draw, they don't have to pursue. But if they're losing, they have to pursue. And then they can get into trouble, can't they? Better hope his ogre doesn't go stupid here. I guess he doesn't activate him, but if he doesn't activate him, he won't just go around anyway. Man, he so deserved a bonehead for that. <laughs> he so fucking deserved a bonehead for that. Covering the top side is pretty hard, isn't it?
Yeah, you can just hit. I should have been one back with the ball, I guess. Alright, we've got to do a GFI. Oh, I can't even stop it. Oh, no, I can't. Double GFI there. Shit. Maybe I shouldn't have stacked the GFI, but obviously I really want to stand there. No, oh, well. roll the one anyway. Maybe he should have just moved it and not GFI'd. Could have got there. I mean, there, there's shit though, right? So I would have gone there and fallen over. But I really wanted someone there. Like that was such. I mean, he could have just stood there, right? Actually, he could have just stood there, and then he could have done nothing. <laughs> Mr. Fantastic, I see you are using the wish for an offense against me. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> are you some sort of elf coach? You wish you're afraid of my skaven? <laughs> Mr. Fantastic, <laughs> it's not like they are calcium cars, chaos dwarfs. <laughs> and now you have been turned over. <laughs> and it is now my chance to score on turn 16. With sidestep. <laughs> Devastating, Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing helpful. <laughs> yeah, I guess I, I guess I should have just moved him there and not made the, any rolls, but you know, I had the reroll right, so I guess I should have made the dodge and then not stack the GFI. And like it just still failed the way it did, but that was the play, wasn't it? Because tying up these three would have been great. Dodge one d is looking pretty good for him, isn't it? Probably his best place. And there was an argument going for the GFIs, which we've obviously failed anyway. But the GFIs to lock him in at the four plus dodge. Yeah, he's just gone for the one. He's not gone for the one. Go on, no wrestle. Boo. I guess now at least he can be a scoring threat, right? So that's good. Got a sideline cage. Try to do something later. Tag him somehow. Just need a GFI don't I? 12, 11, 10, 9. So even if he pushes me, still in range. Maybe I could have tagged that. I guess it's worth this.
Right, all these rolls. Oh, so close. Never lucky. Like, this is a decent turn 15, isn't it? I don't feel like a normal drive would have gone as well as this. <laughs> Took one KO, I think. And had 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, yeah. Four scoring threats. Ball pretty well defended. Claw after this, Volk. Volk for goal. Ah, yeah, it's 8, 15. Hmm. Oh, Zaka, not bad. <laughs> Should be an exclamation point, shouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Papa Piquillo. Glorious indeed. Oh, yeah. Early claw, early among us. No, hand up, there's loads of replays to do. Um. So, the question is. Um, <laughs> the question is, Calcium, are you free to start early? Glorious. <laughs> Glorious, guys. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, he used his line. Sad. So he hasn't got ta he hasn't got guard, so he can two D. Ah, he gets the power there. You can be my wingman mm. anytime. Oh, glorious! Store oh, baby. You can be mine. Danke, danke. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, store viewers, to a successful Daka. Certainly one that's happened. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, GFI, GFI. Is that the play? Oh no, he's here. Could one D him. I could blitz him and then go one, two, no, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, J five. Also he could just run in the end zone on a three two. And then one, two it's three plus those are nines, fuck. I could blitz him and then it's a two. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He could blitz him. To one of all. Could uphill him. <laughs> That's gonna block this guy and see what happens. Oh, he was going to blitz him. All right, so it's a 3 2. All right, it's all pretty bad. Hmm. Oh, there's a chance. For all the one on every important role. <sighs> so annoying. So 
very annoying guys. I guess he should have dodged blitzed him. Because the but then they still didn't three that tackle anyway. I don't know, probably worth it. I feel like that was alright. This is just mean, isn't it, this three dies? Yeah, it's a nine, wasn't it? The fucking the one turn was a double one. And this was a I mean this wasn't easy to be fair, this score. Still annoying to like fail it on the last two plus. <laughs> well, I guess obviously I could have, I could have snaked the catch. But... Yeah. Meh. Well, there you go. More proof that a uh, a dagger can never work versus a good opponent. <laughs> Pretty sad. I thought it gave us a pretty great chance, though, to be fair. Okay, cheeky dodge there. Get rid of the 20. Very sad. But there you go. It's, it's alright, isn't it? Nine wins and two losses is alright. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.